St. Luigi Versilia, along with St. Callisto Caravario, was killed by Bolshevik pirates in China in 1930. This is a short biography of his life. Luigi was born in Italy in 1873. He was educated at one of the oratories of St. John Bosco, though he never thought about becoming a priest. Instead, he wanted to become a veterinarian. Don Bosco noticed Luigi's intelligence and saw something special in him. He asked to meet with him to discuss something important, but died before the meeting could occur. This left Luigi wondering what the meeting could have been about and changed his thoughts regarding his vocation. He entered the Salesian Order and was ordained in 1895. He became known for his austerity and discipline. He led the first Salesian mission to China in 1906. In China, he founded an orphanage as well as several old age care homes and two leper colonies. He was appointed a bishop in 1921. He served the people in the region in many capacities, even serving as a gardener or barber. He is pictured here giving future servant of God Carlo Braga a haircut. He was a man of wisdom and tireless energy, a real shepherd totally dedicated to his flock. He was more of a father than an authoritarian. He led by his example of hard work and Christian love, and never asked people to do anything without first weighing up their capabilities. In 1922, Bishop Versilia traveled to Turin and gave a talk to some Salesian brothers about the mission in China. A young man named Callisto Caravario told him, Bishop, you will see me in China. Callisto made good on this statement and followed Bishop Versilia to China, where he was ordained in 1929. Just one year later, in 1930, Bishop Versilia and Father Callisto embarked on a pastoral mission accompanied by several young boys and girls. A group of Bolshevik pirates stopped their boat and tried to take the girls in their party. Bishop Versilia and Father Callisto did their best to stop them. The pirates knocked them unconscious and tied them up, ripping away their crucifixes. They prayed and heard each other's confessions before being shot and killed. They were both canonized in 2000. Their feast day is on the 13th of November. <laughs>